All right, you should know the drill by now. Um, two white cross solves and then three color neutral solves. So let's look around here for our white cross pieces. We've got this one attached to the orange center, this one, this one, and this one. So there's a few different things we can do. What I would probably go for is something like this. So D prime to move this one to the back here and then do these two. So bring this one on top of this one so that when we bring it down, we get that. And then to solve this last one, instead of rotating and doing something like U prime, R prime, F, R, I would do wide L prime, uh, L prime, wide U prime, L. That doesn't involve any rotations and it's more efficient. Now for our first F to L pair, um, I see a few different things. We've got this F to L pair here and we've got these two down here as well. I would do these two and a really nice algorithm for this case, which is more, more of an advanced algorithm, but it's something you can just try and start using. Uh, instead of you know taking this out and then inserting it, what we can do if we're holding the cube at this angle is do R prime to bring this slot up to the top face, F U prime, F prime R, like that. And then that solves this back slot. Now we've got these two here, which we can do like this. And when we actually, we've got a few different ways in which we can actually solve this. Remembering that we've got this pair down here, which we eventually need to take out into the top layer, it makes more sense instead of inserting the pair like that, what we can do is do R U2, R prime U2 to take this pair out and set up this pair. That's a little bit more advanced, but it should be fine. And then we've got these two, which we can insert into the back left slot here. And then these two, which go into this slot here. So hide the corner and insert. Now we've got OLL and then PLL. Okay, this cross is very easy on white. So we've got this piece here and these three, which are all oriented, or well, they're all easily inserted into the cross layer. So if we do an R2, then we've got these two um, set up like that. So our, our actual cross solution is going to be R2, D, R, F prime. And notice that with those moves, none of the pieces in these four, these three positions, or this position back here even, will be affected. So we've got this F2L pair which is already formed. So this is something that you want to practice as you move more from intermediate solving to as you learn more advanced techniques and get better and better, is trying to identify you know, which F2L pair that you're going to solve after you finish solving your cross. So in this situation, we've got a very easy cross and we've got this F2L pair already formed. And in solving our cross, we won't be affecting this F2L pair at all because we're doing R2, D, R, F prime, like that, to solve our cross. And I guess another thing to be aware of is that as you, as you get better and improve, um, what you want to do is actually not be looking at the cross pieces that you're solving. You want to be looking around the top layer, around F2L slots, um, to try and track your first F2L pair. Um, to insert that very quickly after solving your cross because if you're looking at your cross pieces while you're doing them Then after you finish your cross you'll be kind of stuck and maybe you won't know what to do Especially if there's hard cases for your first f to l pair, but in this case, it's very easy. We just go r prime u r Now we've got a few different options. We can do I guess we can do these two this one and this one by taking this out and then inserting it and then yeah, we can do a similar thing with these two. And then this F2L pair here, what, how we're going to solve it is by putting the corner into the slot and then doing R prime U R U prime R prime U R. And then we've got OLL and then R permutation for our PLL. Okay, let's figure out which color cross we're going to do. Um, white looks pretty easy, as does blue. I'm actually going to go with white in this case, just because 
it's such an easy execution. So we've got this one down here, then we've got these three which are all attached to their opposite centers. So if you do a D2 and then L, F, R2, like that, and try and copy those sort of finger tricks, um, which they didn't require any regrips or any rotations. So once we've done that, we do a D2 and then finish off our cross. Now the first F12 pair that I saw was these two, which can be inserted into the back right slot without any rotations. So I'd go ahead and do those. Similarly, we've got this case, which we can do a rotate for which we can do a rotation and also insert it into the back right slot like that. Now we've got our two back slots filled and we need to decide which F12 pair we're going to do next. This one's easier than this one at the moment. So we can take it out and insert it. Then all we need to do is insert this last edge. Like that, OLL, and then PLL. And we're done. Okay, quickly scanning around the cube, we have a few different sides where there is at least a few different sides where there's one cross edge oriented. So quickly looking at white, it looks okay. Looking at um, green looks okay. And blue, blue doesn't look as good. So, I mean, it really, does, like I said, it doesn't matter too much um, which cross you choose if, you know, two crosses are pretty much equivalent in terms of move count. So let's just go with green in this case. And our cross is going to be rotationless again. And that's something that's very important as I've outlined in the tutorials as well as in some other example solves. So we can do uh, finger tricks like this. So start with this cube on the table. I would do R2 prime like that to bring down this one. And then do, after I did the R2 prime, my thumb was in this position to do an F prime. So that, now this one's in the cross layer but it's not solved correctly relative to these two. So we need to do a D. And then to finish off these two cross pieces, we can do R prime D R like that. So that's how I would go ahead and solve that one. Now we've got these two. Um, that's the first pair that I saw. And well, I saw this, this pair as well as this pair, but this pair is easier to solve. Um, and if we, in solving this pair, this pair will become easier for us to solve. So I would solve it like that. Then I would do these two because I was kind of tracking and trying to follow those two pieces as I solved this first F2L pair. Then the next thing that I would do, we've got a couple of different options. Either we can insert this pair, solve this pair, or solve this pair. At the moment, this case is easier to solve. So we can just go L prime U, L2, U prime, L prime. And now we probably need to rotate in order to insert our last F2L pair. We've had this case a few times in the other example solves. There's a few different ways to solve it. Let's solve it in a different way this time. Um, let's take it out and then rotate and insert it like that. Now we've got a, the easiest OLL imaginable, and then we've got a G permutation. So from this angle, I use a G permutation algorithm, which goes like this, and it's on the PLL sheet as well. Um, so sometimes this is as one tip as you get more advanced is that it's a good idea to learn PLL algorithms from different angles. So the kind of first or standard G permutation algorithm is from this angle where we've got this block at the back. But from this angle, I can do this algorithm which is pretty much just as fast. Alrighty, last solve in this video, and we've got a decision to make again about which cross to solve. So just looking around, yellow looks okay, green looks okay, um, orange looks okay. Let's go with green again. This one's pretty straightforward. Doesn't require any rotations, but it is seven moves, um, which is not, not ideal if you're a color neutral cross solver. Let's look around again. Maybe we can do something a bit easier. No, that's orange is also seven moves. Um, yeah, let's just go with green. So we can do something like D, F prime, D prime to solve these ones. And then these last two cross edges are really easy. We can just go R prime, U, R prime, F. And we can execute that really quickly. Like that. Now, our first F2L pair is a little bit tricky. 
Uh, maybe we'll go for these two, which don't require a rotation. So we can do something like u r u r prime to pair them up and insert them. Now we have a next F2L pair that we see on this top layer is this edge and this corner. So what I would do is a rotation, set them up and insert them. Then well, as I was doing that, I noticed these two, which aren't a very good case at all, but there's also these two. Um, I, I would probably, if, if it was the first thing that I saw, I'd probably just go ahead and solve these two by moving the slot to this position, inserting the corner, and then solving the pair like that. Then we've got these two, which we can insert into the back left slot to avoid a rotation. And we've got OLL and a V permutation to finish off.